Okay, in question number 3 now, there is a polynomial given x cube minus 3x square plus x plus 1. The three zeros given to us are a minus b, a and a plus b. So, this is alpha, beta and gamma. Okay. Now, as I told you, the coefficient of x cube is a. So, a will become 1. The coefficient of x square is b. So, b is negative 3. Coefficient of c is the coefficient of x that is 1 and d is 1. So, hope you understood how to take a, b, c, d. We have done this in question number 1 and uh, 2 as well. Right. So, a is coefficient of x cube. b coefficient of x square c coefficient of x and d is the constant. Now here the question is find the values of a and b. So what are the values of a and b? Now we will use the verification formula if you remember question number 1. We had used three formulas. We can use the first one. Sum of zeros alpha plus beta plus gamma is minus b by a. So what is alpha, beta and gamma? They are these values we can put here and minus b by a will become minus of minus 3 upon a value is 1. So, minus b and plus b is getting cancelled. 3a is equal to 3. Therefore, value of a is 3 upon 3. So, a value is 1. Now, the second uh, verification formula alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is equal to c by a is little long. So, it is not necessary to use here because here the question is not to verify. The question is to find the value of a and b. Okay. So, we are not doing the second one. We are just using the third one now. That is that alpha, beta, gamma. So, alpha, beta, gamma is minus d by a. The value of alpha, beta, gamma we know. And minus d by a, the value of d here is 1. So, here we get minus 1 upon 1. So, here if you look at the first and the last bracket, there is an identity a plus b a minus b. That is a square minus b square. a remains as it is and minus 1 upon 1 is minus 1. Instead of a, we can put 1 because we have already found out the value of a. So, here we are putting 1 square minus b square. So, 1 minus b square is negative 1. This one we can transfer this side. So, we get minus 1 and minus 1 again. So, minus 1 minus 1 we get minus 2. The negative negative cancel b square is 2. So, here we get the value of b as square root of 2 plus minus root 2. Okay, So, answer will be plus minus root 2. So, in class 9, we never did this plus minus. Okay, But remember in class 10, when we find the roots, there is a plus minus case. So, uh, root 36, you will not write only 6. You will write plus minus 6. Because 6 into 6 is also 36. Minus 6 into minus 6 is also 36. So, please remember in class 10, that whenever you take square roots, to take the plus minus case. So, final answer we will write, A is equal to 1 and B equal to plus minus root 2. Okay, hope it's clear this question number three.